How's it going? My name is Tim. Welcome back to my shop. And today we are going to start building a coat rack for my dining room. I thought I could just go out and buy a quick coat rack. This was not a planned project, but apparently they don't really make them anymore. So why not make one myself? Okay, and this project starts like most of my projects in a 3D modeling program. I use Blender, but you can pretty much use anything that you're familiar with. So SketchUp is a popular one, obviously. And the main thing here is that I am looking at the overall proportions of the project. Um, I'm using a, a stickly coat rack example as my rough model. And then I just kind of lay everything out and play with the proportions. So here you can see me do the, do the supports down at the bottom. And I just kind of play with the overall height and the the rough shape of everything. And this is the finished render. Okay, and on to actually doing the project. So first up is marking everything out. So take a look at the end grain and pay attention to the grain direction. Mostly for the, the long post, I'm looking for some rift sawn grain. So I want it nice and straight on all four sides. So once I get the grain that I want, I go ahead and mark everything out on the face that I'll be sawing from. Obviously watching out for any kind of splits or knots, like that one right down the center. And these are just rough marks, so these are super quick. Just gonna use a speed square to roughly mark everything out, and then go ahead and label all of my parts. And now it is on to rough sawing everything. Nothing fancy here. Obviously, a sharp saw is gonna be helpful. And if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to see even more about everything, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter. And all those links are going to be in the description below. And now we are on to milling everything. So I start with the jack plane and I go diagonal to the grain to flatten everything out initially. Obviously checking for flatness as I go. And then I'll switch over to planing with the grain. Once everything is four squared on all sides, in some cases you might not need a four square, but I will go ahead and mark it and do my final cutting to length. After sawing, most of the time I'll go back with a block plane just to go ahead and make sure that the end grain looks nice. And now I can lay out the shape for the two base pieces. I use a compass for the top cutouts, but the bottom I think I just use a, you know whatever I can find just to make sure that those circles are smooth. And go ahead and cut it out with a fret saw and clean it up with a rasp. And the cutout on the bottom, uh, I make a whole bunch of relief cuts and then I kind of chisel away most of the waste. This is a tricky cut to do with hand tools. You can go ahead and use a spoke shave, use a rasp, use a chisel, basically whatever you find to hog away most of that waste. I finally 
for this part, I will go ahead and resaw the corner supports down at the bottom. So I'm using eight quarter. The quarter supports are only uh, about three quarters of an inch or so wide. So I resaw two pieces. I'm just using a handsaw for this. It's a relatively short cut. It doesn't take more than a few minutes. If it was any bigger, I would bring out the big frame saw. Okay, and that's where we'll stop for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.